everyone and welcome to the Nostalgia Road Trips video commentary to the television after school film The Day My Kid Went Punk. <laughs> this is your host Edgar Velasco and with me now is my partner in this craziness, Mr. Robert Menes. How are you Chief? Check it out. We went punk, yo. Now for any of you who don't know, fucking... There have always been like after school or after school movies that had celebrities tackling, well, celebrities in quotations before they either became big or weren't really that popular to begin with. That, you know, drug abuse, uh, some teen of the, pregnancies, teen on pregnancies, the big one, mm-hmm. or even the evils of Dungeons and Dragons starring yes. Tom Hanks. Oh, yeah, look at all the people that are in this one with the fucking uh, whatever font that was they pulled out of Microsoft Word. And, oh, he must be so punk that he's messing up his violin lessons. Screech! And again, these were films that were aired on prime time, maybe once a week. Yeah, or after school, as he used to call it. After school, yeah, during weekdays. And the quality would be a mix between maybe soap opera and maybe first season Power Rangers. Like, it has budget, but not that much of a budget. So it's like, of course... You know, you have to have your nice... Oop, everybody's slipping. Everybody's gone punk. But it's like, everybody's nice and perfect. This is nice middle-class, upper-class suburbia. All the perfect little boys and girls. All the golden blonde locks. And look at everybody. Happy families watching their orchestrating kids. Now, in other words, this was a movie made to help educate parents or kids of the evils of something that's not really truly evil, but adults and old people just didn't understand at the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Robert, you're very familiar with this. Well, we're both very familiar with this, but yeah, punk rock. What the fuck was wrong with it? Nothing really, we both went into it. We're both fine. Again, the origins of punk rock are about going against the establishment. Yeah, you know. Fuck the man, yo. Exactly. So, for this booger eating nerd right there, mm-hmm. who I guess eventually becomes a punk rocker mm-hmm. and goes against the, the status Lisa? quo yeah. huh? to rebel, fight against, yeah, fight uh, against suburbia uh, and the man and the conformity. Apparently, it's enough um, that he needs to, that, that he seems like a bit of a, like a whippersnapper, a troublemaker, yeah. a lollygagger, you would say, a rebel. Mm hmm. Oh, mind you, this kid is played by the yeah. kid who played uh, Johnny Storm in uh, Roger Corman's Fantastic Four oh, yeah, that's film. right. This is Jay Underwood. Oh, and Lord knows what else yeah, he's done for himself after that. So but look at this perfect body. suburbia sure family. You know, like the mother and the daughter with the curly blonde locks. Hi. The older you brother who's well probably today. a young Republican. You Literally, you know, semester. and again, it's basically <gasps> like a nice... Down to earth kid, intelligent, Ivy League, and all that shit. That because he follows a certain scene, he suddenly, I guess, I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess that his grades start slipping. His he goes with the wrong side, wrong crowd. You know, hanging out with the kids at the wrong side of the tracks, and is slowly being considered like a monster to his family members. Oh, you are in for a hell of a treat with this one. Especially for people. Because again, Mom, a good chunk of these the movies were written by people who didn't understand the genre, or the lifestyle, or whatever it is. Uh, um, so okay. they're gonna go like the reaper I mean, madness my, uh, te- method in uh, terms of sport, this you know. thing represents all evil, back. and we don't understand it. So we're gonna write fictitious accounts or okay, fictitious, you, PJs, you know, baby. weird things that happen. Look at that! Look at that McMansion that they Tim, got and everything. Look at that! Look at how like prim and proper his white press shirt and his black slacks and his nice polished shoes. And all of a sudden, he's going to probably put on boots or something. Every day is white boy day in this family's household. Look at how white they are. They're practically just fucking sliced bread. This is like the fucking Waltons on steroids. I'm polishing. Tom, it's a good book. Send it in. Wait, is like this is like the yes, dear. This, Besides, we could use this the rest was, of the was considered uh, acceptable in terms of like Your the turn. correct family li- growing up s- lifestyle. Where uh, mm-hmm. once uh, something is introduced that's outside that boundary, mm-hmm. it's considered oh my god, it's dangerous, it's crazy. God, you should have seen my extended Thank family. Goodness. You know, back when I was a teenager and I got into all this shit, it drove them up the goddamn wall. 
Yeah, or but even then, it's all the these movies and all crazy. these after-school specials he is so were written by people who didn't understand it. And they would see well, it as a, an epidemic, too. you would mm-hmm. say. What? Even though it, it is a lifestyle change, it's also a music this is the biggest category, but, you know, universities it, ever sponsored. It, 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 if yeah, it's, it's, it's about it'll be a you know big fighting the oppressed, mm-hmm. and yours. but also it's right about now, expressing it's yourself and having side. freedom to do that. They didn't understand the Jerry, magic in, a, in an energetic right kind of way, full of energy, full of fire, you mm-hmm. know, passion. You know, they hey. didn't understand the magic that was the dead Kennedys and the Krantz hey, and the Descendants yeah. you know, and anti-flag and Black uh, Flag and all them. Maybe, yes, you know, but now we get this. This. Slice uh-huh. of American white bread. Well, yeah, you, you know, I don't know, just something different. You know, just something different. Maybe. So it's like he just wants to do something Isn't different. Pretty? In other words, not Mr. Marty McFly oh, knockoff. Honey. Yeah. Oh, oh she won the purple no, no, ribbon, no, but she didn't like the blue not, ribbon. Not Alex P. Keaton knockoff. Mm. Hey, that, I swear, he's doing you know, Alex P. Keaton thinking, right there. Um, maybe get her a new haircut. Oh, new haircut to go with your new contact lenses. Well, that sounds good. But yeah, yeah, you know, in case I get into a band. Hey, listen I mean, up, are... everybody. Here's my speech for the Young Men's Republican Club next week. Oh, Camilla's wow, you, you couldn't think. get any more white bread than a fucking Republican club. There you go, the Young Republicans Club. Boom. So, Robert, oh, does he boy. become punk like an overnight thing, thing or does it slowly yeah. build but, into that? Oh, yeah, we're yeah, about to get into that. Get okay, into so he just, what's he, what? He just falls into a fucking hole? Well, okay, he's got the case, he's got the amp, and he's got the leather bag. go in with you, kiddo, but... Wait, does he... Yeah, play hooky no, no. It's okay, at school, okay. but pretending Call to actually be a punker, there, okay? when in reality yeah, he should yeah. be in his studies? Sure. Probably. You're oh, about to find out. Oh, I don't want to spoil oh, nothing. God, what the hell did you put me into? Here's the bus station, right? Alright, okay. He's supposed to be going to, I guess, an alma mater kind of bullshit. I guess. The next school recital kind of bull crap. Oh, you'll find out. Okay, alright, I will. Alright, check out the punk girls. That's punk? That's just poofy hair. That's not even fucking punk, that's like fucking Madonna perms. Exactly. Oh, he's on the airport. Wait, that's an airport? I yeah. thought it was a bus depot. I thought so too at first, and then I just heard flight, and I'm like, oh wait, that is, uh... That's an airport. I don't know. So wait, he's trying to be the nice boy. Give him back their dropped off lunch, right? Mm-hmm. Or whatever was in that bag. Is it drugs? Is it drugs? Maybe. Wait. Come on, kid, pull it out. That's what she said. Wait, what the? Wait, what is going on? Ah. Into okay. the bathroom. Wait. Do you really have to take all that shit to the bathroom? I mean, it isn't like the olden days. Oh, like, you know what? Robert, this was before September 11th. It's okay. <laughs> they didn't have to check it's on because your TSA what's bag. In it. It's what's in it. What the fuck is this? It's like fucking transforming in the bathroom. Wait, so this is like the Hot Topic uh, punk starter there you kit? Go. Contact lenses, Swiss Army knife, knives, a piercing, scissors, take off the glasses, put on the contacts, cut the hair. His hair. Wait. So it just happens. This yep. Is, it just Magical happens. transformation. There you go. Spray on color. Piercing. Leather jacket. I love the dreamlike transition they just did. Suddenly. He's a... Uh, wait, he's Rufio from Hook? Yep. Ru- Rufio. That, sounds, that looks more new wave than anything else. That does look more new wave than fucking punk. That's not even punk. That's... Fucking Halloween. That's like fucking like Smith's crowd. It's Halloween adventure. Like yeah. Fucking uh, hot topic rental. Yeah, that's like the cure Smith's crowd. Wait. So he does play hooky pretending to be a nerd when reality he's up. Fucking punk. Mind they- you, I'm saying punk with quotation, doing the quotations with yeah. my fingers. We're air quoting. And here's the fun part. Everybody looks people, like- they're all squares. They're all part of the the, 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 the square movement. What the fuck oh, is this? Oh my! You lollygagger, you please get out. You, young man. Yeah, hi. I'm Terry Warner, the new children's counselor. Um, I'm supposed to see Mr. Smiley. Oh, really? Yeah, Norman oh, Smiley. Stuart Smiley. All seat. the Smileys. Thanks. And they want to hire him as a counselor for the summer in this hotel. <laughs> really? Yep. What, it better be a fucking Camp Crystal Lake? Terry Warren is here. 
Oh, good. Show him in. What did his mother tell you about him? Oh, I don't know. Not much. Nice kid, quiet, a clean place, cut, boring violin. white boy. Oh, really? Really? Well, a Ziggy Ziggy Sputnik lookalike is sitting outside. Who the fuck is Ziggy Ziggy Sputnik? I want to find his records right now. Uh, I believe Ziggy about? Ziggy Sputnik Ziggy, is Ziggy the term Sputnik. for people who don't know actual Show punk groups right or names, so they Max? just do any name we together. Can Dude, band name Ziggy Ziggy Sputnik. I want to fucking use it. What's the matter with you? His mother's school Let's get some talent first. We're barely getting through this fucking shit. Hi, Terry. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hello, Mr. Smiley. I'm is he gonna to do the uh, nga, 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 like neck uh, uh, yes. uh, adjusting? Um, I, I'm, I'm sorry, I forgot about the moose. No, that's okay. Uh, but it's like, yeah, he's punk, punk, but he's still a pretty cool market. kid. Hi. Yeah, but I'm he's still minute. acting respectful, so he's yeah. still Hi. a fake punk. Well, Terry, or, or is it the whole entire well, thing is like you can be punk and you don't have to be a fucking asshole? I don't know. Work at eight o'clock in the morning. That would be it. Yeah. Great, great. I suppose you could just thank, save it for the people you, who damn well deserve it. But again, this is... What? What's Max, the, what, what is this? 1983? 1987. This is 87? Yes. Seems like a nice enough Jesus. kid. Phil, we cannot afford to risk losing this conference. It's been a slow year. Oh, God, what, they're so worried about a conference a and they think... Wait, this is, a, is this a school? A what? No, this is a hotel. Firing. Okay, because I was about to say, what does this school have a weird lobby and it looks like a fucking hotel room? Yeah, it's a, well, a hotel can. slash convention center. Oh, whoop de doo So they fucking hire this kid as a counselor. Wait, for kids? For kids! Uh-oh, the kids aren't gonna love him. Oh, you'll see. Oh, the old squares? Look at this one. Who the fuck walks around with a sweater wrapped around their neck like that? Yes. A rich that white boy? A rich us. old white. A I'm rich it is. old white boy. Oh, no need to be concerned, Mr. Green, Mrs. Rose, Mrs. Saunders. Uh, he's a classical violinist, the son of a college oh. professor, and uh, he has the highest references. No, he looks dangerous. Because he's a punker. Sure, Mr. Green, he ah, is it's a red hair. Maybe he should have gone with blue. Blue is calming. children learn about the evils of punk rock really that's not really punk he's playing a ballad this is a love ballad so what the fuck is this green day How is this? this is fucking green day shit oh yeah now he's wait how is this punk exactly this, this is wuss rock this is like fucking like this is white snake this is fucking time life Romancing, you know, songs of the 1980s. But when he gets on stage, my time, my time is gonna come. that's not even punk still. No, dude, it's, it's like fucking throw it. We gotta throw like fucking like dead Kennedys at these people or descendants or fucking. Again, Robert, you also gotta remember that some of this shit is probably. Again, it's written by people who don't know it. Yeah. You gotta remember this. Don't get, take it too personal when it comes to that, because again, half the people who wrote these are middle-aged oh, yeah. old farts who don't, don't even know. Uh, yep, that's true. I mean, like, if it, if it were written, yeah, if I were in charge of writing, I'd be like, you know, I'll know exactly what to throw in there. Tonight at the alley. Yeah. Hey, girl. He's gonna write a love ballad for her. That looks like Gwendolyn Pierce from uh, Charles in Charge. Well, certainly, Big Dr. Part, maybe? Warner, I'll book seven additional suites for your group. Thank you, and we may need more. Oh, that's wonderful. Yes, because we need now to remember, go to our Smiley, boring lifestyle. I want the lifestyle. best of everything. This conference is very important. The chairman of our board is our keynote speaker. Don't worry, Professor Cameron. Conferences are our business. Oh, everything God, will be his fine. mom's going to find out what he's up to. Ah, so there goes the reveal. Mm -hmm. Mr. Smiley, what were you saying about Terry? Is there some problem? Oh, no, no, it's just... No, I'm just saving he, my ass. He wasn't exactly what we expected. Well, I told you, he hasn't had that much experience. Well, no, he's doing fine. In fact, why don't you talk to him yourself? Would you transfer this call to Terry Warner's room? Thank you. Meanwhile... Hello. Hi, honey. Hi, mom. Oh, I gotta transform back. Oh, terrific. Sure. Yeah. No. No, really. Um. Hey. Thanks for the twenty. You're welcome, honey. Uh. Do you need any more? 
Um, no, no, I'm doing great. I'm good hey, with 20 guess bucks. What? I, I got yeah. a weekend job. Yeah. 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 You know, before well, inflation, you know, 20 bucks lasts um, you like two weeks. Look, I have to go, but we'll call you on Sunday. You can talk to the whole family. Um, yeah. Okay. Bye bye. Bye. Heart of gold, who cares for the children? There you go. He taps into their individuality and their creativity. Gotta give this kid credit. I know, but he he makes me so uncomfortable, Max. Yeah. He's getting weirder looking every day. You know, I just don't understand why he's doing it. Oh, you gotta express either, yourself, man. Yeah, we're against expressing year, yourself. Even though clearly he's still a fake man. Mm -hmm. Besides, it's only a Maybe few he's trying to fake it till he makes it. You know what? Sometimes you got it. Adam? Oh, Louise, good. You've got the posters. Yeah. Uh, here are the photos Smiley sent me of their suites. Oh, they look good, don't they? Oh, I here's the them. ironic twist to it all. Or family health. Any two by four Wait, room what does like it mean by Mahal. family health? What do you mean? That's Adam, she is a psychologist, okay. and they're the talking about business. family health at this conference. Come and on, yet, oh, don't be naive. Your son is a now, punker. Would probably I want you to go up there be and an agenda Remember, because he has to hide his real self from them, mission. and that'll probably make her I look ask. bad. Oh, now let's see oh, that's posters. that that has sitcom you know, all over it. Ah, uh, family parenting. Then the punk wait, syndrome. Wait, wait, those guys don't even look punk. They are fucking new wave and hair I, metal. I see the fucking lead singer of Depeche Mode in one of those pictures. Yeah, the dude on the lower right was fucking hair metal right there. Where's the counselor? Oh, that's me. <laughs> Can I help you? You? That's you? Impossible. Oh, my dear! No respectable hotel would hire someone like you to take care of children. Someone like that's me? Outrageous. Someone like me. I'm calling the manager. I am the manager, hey, bitch. Hey, what's the commotion? What's going on? Mr. Smiley, well, this lady just came in. She's a little upset. <laughs> What's going on is that the nitwits who run this hotel have hired this this delinquent to take care of children. But I've just he's called doing the just fine with the children, no? Way. No, but again, well, it's that you, you know that hypocritical fucking of this tight hotel wad bitch who no doesn't understand. But again, fact, it's, it's, it's an all 80s thing. Of course, they, 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 they so always had everything has a little bit of a tight villain. Have you noticed that he's also starting to put a little bit of a base? He's starting to look a little bit more goth. That's not fucking goth, bro. That's fucking looking like a Duran Duran cover up. Oh god, he's starting to look like a Patrick Nagel piece. There you go. Apparently, I cannot. Just because you're an uptight Please. citizen doesn't mean that he has Mrs. to be. Uh, I think you mean uptight, bitch. Oh, well, yeah. Um, hey, look, I'm sorry, Mr. Smiley. Hey, thanks for sticking up for me. If you're really sorry, Terry, you take that shit off your face. face. Wash that gook out of your oh, hair. Wait, that that gook out of your hair. Like a normal human being. What the hell does that mean? Well, again, that's what you, you love me, don't you, Odie? Human being. You're an idiot. You love me, Odie. Copyright Pulse Incorporated. All rights reserved. It's 1980, whatever. Jim Davis. <laughs> oh, oh okay. I love our white, Gorgeous. boring life, honey. I'm so glad Cameron We're wearing our track suits and making like useless vacation. conversations yeah. and just killing time. I Even our kisses were boring. Right now, Look at that. Terry will be so surprised. Oh. Uh oh. They're gonna find him. And it just happens Terry? like that. Oh shit! Wait, it just happens like that. There's no yes. other explanations and no big old reveal or nothing. I was nothing. expecting you until Monday. I was like, oh shit! I forgot to transform back. What are you doing? You shouldn't play dress up with the children like this, Terry. It's not a good role model. I discovered fabulous yeah, secret powers. Yeah, clown makeup would be more appropriate. This is a garb. Is that what it says? Garb. Image. I think it says knob on his shirt. Knob. No, he is a knob. Well, this is the way I dress now. You it's my new look. What was wrong with the old one? Didn't go with my new music. Your music is different too. You got any more surprises? Yeah, I'm gay. Dad, and I have AIDS. I told you I was Welcome to the, the rock 80s, band. Dad. I thought you said pop band. Pop band? That does explain a lot. Um, I gotta get back to yeah, but he looks more All pop. Right, he looks like he should be part of a flock of seagulls. Then the dead Kennedys or even the remote. The yeah, he, put, he definitely would be singing about running, running so far away. Usually it was the guys at the club. We'd be singing about being Look, maybe hungry like the wolf. Better if you come out and see our show. We're playing at the alley on Main Street. I'll reserve or a table. Be in at a gay club. All right. 
We'll talk afterwards. Okay. I think the moral of the story is don't become these kinds of parents. The moral of the story is this movie is stupid, Robert. But it's like every ABC right, after let, school let, special. Let's take a listen to this garbage. Hold on. Why does this sound new wave? This isn't punk rock or punk rock at all. Now, she is talking like a true Republican. Yes. But this isn't even punk! No, it sounds like fucking like. Ladies and gentlemen, I implore you, you get to watch this movie without our shitty talking. Listen to the songs and compare and contrast what punk sounds like and what new wave or whatever sounded like. They sound like fucking Devo on crack. Or they sound like Devo with their heads cracked in. Either or, still. How could he do this to us? I'm Relax. Still without like the hearing and the makeup, he won't look that bad. And what do we do with his hair? Get him a wig? Not uh, a bad honey, idea. it's spray on, Tom's you dumb bitch. Washes out in water. Is on mm -hmm. the line. Cameron is gonna blow a gasket when he sees Terry, and I will be the laughing stock of the conference. What? Louise, please relax, okay? Hmm? Release your tight ass fucking head. Terry, down, come in, good. Uh, we, we were just uh, talking about you. So, um, how'd you like the show? Well, it's not our kind of music, but uh well, then again, nothing is at this moment. With it. What the yeah, hell Daddy, kind of music but... is their kind of Honey, music? It's pure unadulterated noise. Now how can you stand that stuff after playing Mozart and Puccini? Who is Terry? Because Why are you even doing at this? that time Mozart and Puccini it's, it's were probably cool, garbage. You know, it works for me. Well it doesn't. I, wasn't work one of them like really like anti establishment? I don't know the mind. history lecture. Really? One of them was. I well, think that because this guy is claiming to be punk, yourself, yet Jerry, he's clearly new wave. Makes no sense. I thought you always said different was okay. Oh, I knew you. Not know when you're conforming, you son. Like last year, you dyed your hair from brown to yellow. I don't remember a family conference about it. Nobody had a fit either. Terry, that's well, hardly Terry, the that's same because thing. Exactly. Your, your mom no likes to pretend she's young. With my yeah. hair. Don't you know what Professor Cameron is going to say when he sees you? Yeah. He'll probably be like, dude. What the you know, fuck? All you care about you're, is other you're a poser. Think. You don't care about me. You never did. What? Terry. Holy son, you know that's not true. All right, we care all right, about all right. the image you portray in us so we can surprise. look good. Let's sleep on it and get together in the morning. I gotta go to work today. All right, lunch. Fine with me. Oh, I'll see you later, Dad. She's just mad because she can't get spray on hair. Spray on, uh, How can you be so calm about this? Louise, I'm not being calm. I'm just trying to understand what's going on here. In other words, is, somehow. he's at least slightly down, more okay? acceptable while well, she's more concerned about what her career and whatever we call uh, Not anymore. Yep. That sounds like Very every funny. fucking 80s look, or teen drama cliche. You said so yourself. You're going to make me look Throw bad. Well, well, especially when it's a Republican, whatever, whatever crop. Yeah. Well, we'll just have to send him home. We can't do that. He's got a job. Remember what we taught him about being responsible? Well, well he's got that down, Pat. During the conference. He's got a job, but we'll people are going to criticize him nevertheless. Mm -hmm. Louise, you but the kids love really him. Mean the kids that. love him. Besides, you know, it'll never because work. kids are stupid. They don't know any better anyway. Well, kids are impressionable. Yes, there Louise, you go. I'll tell you what I tell my clients. The best way go to handle a dick. crisis is to face it head on. We'll be back right after this. Meanwhile, the Great Northern Lodge. This is like an episode of Northern Exposure. Oh, hey, Mr. Smith. Listen, it stopped raining, so why don't you bring the kids outside for a change? Um, yeah, I am. Going down to the corral. Uh, hey, uh, I thought that was just for theater days and the makeup. Yeah, well, it was, but I decided I like it. Why? It makes me look cool. Makes you look awful. Makes you look like a Listen. dork. Yeah. No, you look like a bigger nice dwarf. Kid. Yeah, but the fact Why that he says it, it so looks hard cool, for it doesn't really, that. that means for him, so you don't it's more of an external. It's nothing like in I terms mean, of like, feeling that looking way. Looking like this, people pay attention. Before nobody even knew I was alive. 
It's gotta so be an easier way. So he wants it for You're his presentation hall. You? <laughs> 80s hair, girl. Here you go. Could you get us into the alley Friday night? We called, but they said it was all full. Um, yeah, sure. Just come to the door and ask for me. Great. Thanks. Okay. Great. We're Bye. all hey, go. 80s girlfriends. 80s girls, they're, I guess they're supposed to be oh, 20, but I they look okay, like they're played by 30-year-olds. You can't hide behind this mask for the rest of your life. I mean, you gotta let people see the real you sometime. What this if that is, is the real, the real me? Memes? Change the wrapping. I'm sorry, but even then, I don't Sorry. even think that's the real him. I think this is all an act two. I honestly think that he's trying too hard. Okay. Ride some horses today, huh? Here we go. I, I, I'm sorry, Mrs. Rehnquist. I just can't let Amy ride. It's too dangerous. You know, her being crippled and all. Mm -hmm. gentle enough for her to ride. No we amount of money is enough to make my little girl ride, even idea. though she can. Besides, our insurance company won't allow it, ma'am. That's right, well, girl. Fake well, cry yourself to victory. When they all go to lunch, I'll take her around a couple times myself. Thanks. Yeah, she can ride on my back, because the horse we'll ain't gonna have there. it. Okay. Come on, sweetheart. Come on, fake cripple. Dude. Are those Jordash jeans you're wearing? Yep. Want them at Sears. Isn't that Harriet Hi. from uh, uh, I'm Jerry. fucking uh, me? Small Wonder? I think so. You know, there's some special places in the city where the horses know how to handle people who can't use their legs. You could learn to ride real well. I'm yeah, sure your mom here will we have crippled you. horses to help crippled as soon girls. As we get back home, we'll look into it. Thank you, young man. I don't want to go to a special place. I want to go here. I want Stop to giving me that special else. bullshit with your special face. You know that's funny. But I want said. a ball of special K. Like How about you special the I fuck up? Like everybody else is really boring. Grow, grow some balls. I mean, look at me now. I've gone to a lot of trouble not to look like everyone else, and I love it. I mean, you know, even though a few people like your mom here think I'm a little yeah, wacko. Yeah, your mom thinks I'm a total bit, uh, just a like total cunt. Oh, well, he does throw really some pretty good shade. Hair, the makeup, everything. You think adding a little bit of green would be too much, then? No. I think you're beautiful. Aww. Oh, I think you're beautiful, too. It's Thank a heartwarming you. Thank moment. you, girl who can't really use her legs. What, you wait here with your mom. You mean so I'm much, your while, opinion okay? means shit to me. So, are you pleased with the attendance at the conference? Very. I think we'll have yeah, all two of them showed up. All over the world. You well, and your like cameraman. A sellout, and you've certainly been getting a lot of press coverage with your topic. Uh, do you have any children? No. Uh, I, mean, I had an yes, abortion. Three. Three. I had to throw one of them away. And your husband say yeah. His hair turned red. Have it's you defective. ever used any of his techniques? Not yet. Hey, mom. Do Do that, this is what the record scratch would have happened in the trailer. Hey, hey, hey! Da -na -na -na. All right. Guess what I got in here? <laughs> Extra pair of legs. A bag within a bag within a bag. You a dog? Oh, it's a dog. I mean, I got you, so cripple me, Terry, dog. <laughs> um, do cripple people want to be reminded of how crippled they are? I'm well, at least sorry she about feels the way good. I carried on the other day, but your appearance really frightened me. <laughs> Look, it's okay. Sometimes it frightens me too. Yeah, that's why I continue to well, do it. What do you think? Should we go horseback riding? Come on. Here, uh, let's. Oh wait, I can't get up without my breast. Oh, sorry, I just Carrie, loosened your I spine. I don't understand. I knew you'd be surprised. Practice. I just didn't think you'd be ashamed of me. Well, what did you think we would be? Proud? That Did would be the, the most logical effect. Did you see face when you said, Hi, Mom. Louise. Don't you Louise me unless you can tell me how to explain to 300 psychiatrists and psychologists why our son is running around looking like a freak while I'm giving a seminar on the punk syndrome and how parents now, can avoid it. Now, question. Question. And you. Why Stuck up bitch. Now? Okay, that's my here, question. Huh? <laughs> you know how important this conference is to me, to my job. I didn't think of that. That's right. Nope, you you didn't never think thought. about anyone but yourself. No, that's no, right. You gotta take care of a number one did. once in a while. I mean, you guys never pay much attention yeah, to me anyway. Fuck you. What are you talking about? 
What are you oh, talking are you about? about? No. Yeah, do you realize that this is the first time that either of you have spent any time alone with me? Or, or really cared about anything that I did since I was little? Terry, how can you say that? Mom, um, son, what Carl, are you talking about? Calls, we always spent our Carolyn. earnings at well, the end of the year together. To no, nah, you worried about you Mr. Young Republican and little care. Miss Goldilocks there. We do care very much. Son, I had no idea you felt like that. Why do I sound like Gordon Shallot? I gotta like, get back to work. Robert now. All right, we'll, we'll continue like, this later. We're gonna talk about I'm this. I'm glad son. you brought this up, Terry. I wish you had before. Terry. Baby, we do love you very much. And I'm we sorry. We just can't if we stand you when you're clear. dressed like this. Yeah. There's a difference. We can't stand your fake new We care, new ways. but we don't care enough to accept your lifestyle. Yeah. We do not care about your fake new wave. There you go. Come on, honey. Let's go count our money. It always makes us happy. Oh, boy. He really knocked me for a loop. I had no idea. But I should have figured it out. It's a typical middle child syndrome. Poor baby. Yeah, he wanted to get our attention. Oh, you surely He's got it. He's probably as uncomfortable with the way he looks as we are. Well, I'm glad we worked that out. I bet he'll wash his face by the time we're ready to go home on Sunday. Mm -hmm. Everything's back to normal and take boring. A while to grow out. And it sure takes a lot of guts to face a room full of psychiatrists and psychologists and talk about how parents can avoid the punk syndrome in their teenagers when your own son looks like this. Hey, Mom. <laughs> ah! National television <laughs> saw him! Uh, yeah, but uh, we all saw that coming, so that doesn't mean anything. And now back to the studio with Charlene. And, and now we're gonna go back to our sponsors. What do I do now? We disavow him. Use it. Oh. Uh, we're back. One of those dudes looks like a biker. Again, I'm God, I don't understand it. I never so, yeah. child of mine her her career is over. And those are these are punks. That's right, just Michael. Settle down. Quiet, please. Let's fuck it. There, there. That's fucking George. culture club. That's fucking George. culture club right there. Fucking Kasha Guru, okay? Taking any drugs or nothing. Still didn't matter. Frankly, I find that hard to believe. Frankly, yeah, I'm too believe it. Uh, too much of a night tight one to hearing, understand my there. My father told me to get out and never come back again, so I left. And how old are you? Why did everybody look like a fucking mind makeup on? Look like we just from 1989 to Yeah, my Batman. dad would have been a lot happier if Probably I would have been a Probably all the that he beat up. At least he could have hid that from the neighbors. That's all they care about. Appearances. It's about other people. It's not about you. Have you ever tried looking at it from your parents' point of view? Have you ever tried acting white? Why should we? They never see anything from our point of view. But aren't you all going around looking like that just to get a rise out of the rest of us? No, oh, we're doing it because we like it. And it's nobody else's business but our own how we want to look. I mean, that's true. It's like everyone always tells you, don't judge a book by its cover. So why doesn't that go for us, too? Yeah, and all you guys because around looking Because books are weird. made of paper. Yes, You're made out of flesh. Hardly the same thing, young man. I guess we they mean the same thing. Don't see what's peace. on the outside, see what's on you the inside. You for cruelty and violence. Whoa, whoa. Hey, wait, come on. Wait, I have my hair wait, spiked wait, up. I had color and everything, true. too. I wore yeah, seam okay, shirts. Maybe some punkers I wasn't an are asshole, though. So are some bankers and truck drivers. Yeah, it doesn't go for all of us. Why doesn't somebody take the trouble to find out and quit lumping us all together? Maybe it's because we're afraid of you. I think that's very true, Dr. Warner. I know I was terrified of I'm afraid of young of people in general. Of, of so young people with makeup child. scare me but even more. Happened, which what was that movie where the young knowing. kids took over the town, the children of the corn? Or is that what they think? The yeah. Do they think so of that? Too. Now I would like to thank everyone, especially our participants, for joining us today. I had originally hoped to show parents how to keep their kids from turning punk. But I'm gonna say what I learned is that it's more I important to shit. find out why they're doing it. Yay! You completely 180'd on your cause just to show that you love your child. Brilliant panel, Louise. Have you seen today's papers? They love Terry and his friends. We're the toast of the trade press. Great, oh, Dr. Warner. <laughs> You I, fucking I got exploited. Dr. Photograph Warner, you exploited son, your son Matthew, and became even 19. more popular. How can I be able to manipulate the crowd like oh, that? Dear. <laughs> well, the that looks like man. meatloaf. He's now 22 and a banker. <laughs> That's one. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. Uh -huh. Well, some kids never change, but uh, I just wanted to assure you there's always hope. Thank you. I appreciate it. In other it. words, 
But I'm sure that just my next like uh, will be back playing Salt Lake City Punk, he was a faker all along. By the way, congratulations on an excellent. Well, I always feel like, Thank hey you. kid, cool class shirt. Right, you no, know, I used to be into the Clash back you? then. They were really awesome. Rumpus and then the kid just pulls the shirt off and throws it in the garbage. By next month, you'll be a full professor. Nice to see you, Tom. Oh, thanks, Adam. Uh, thanks a lot, Dick. Dr. Warner, I want to thank you for the most successful conference of our whole summer season. Yeah, and because our I fucking hotel sucks. For one of the best counselors we've ever had. Isn't you she the lady who uh, oh, recruited yes. the kids and where in the world's Carmen San Diego? No, that's our Lynn nice. Thigpen. Uh, maybe next time we can get a photo of him in advance so we know what to expect. <laughs> yeah, well, we wouldn't want another necessary. freak again. We had a long talk with Terry after the panel and... I think we've worked it all out. In fact, we think he's upstairs washing that junk out of his hair right now. Really? Really? Because oh, we're going to have a comedic Sorry, moment in here. Sorry, I was just by the band. But um, I'm ready to go and you are. You don't intend to drive home in that getup, do you? Dad, look, I thought we had this out last night. This is the way I'm going to dress now. See you later. They will never He's let your you problem now, like Whitey. Mom, come on, take a look around there. What are you going to do with him we'll now? Everybody eating their boring meal. Eating their fucking porridge. Ugh, perfectly gross. Stump that, Caroline. You know, I don't think I can hold my food down if I have to look at that every morning. That's enough now. No, really, Dad. <laughs> hey, it's okay. I mean, before, nobody even knew I was at the breakfast table. Mm. Oh, for the love of... This place has become like a war zone. Now, what's wrong oh, it's just because he had a He's bit of a... He's just trying to get our attention. He's got it. He told us that we treat him like he's invisible around here. That we don't listen to him, that we don't care. I and you know what? Right. We should continue we it, because we were doing just fine. <laughs> he's always been just kind of there. The middle kid syndrome. Uh, welcome to Woodgrove. Right Hi, next Mr. door Warner. to Andrew I see you've acquired a new look over the Hey, summer. teacher Santa Claus. How, How are you? Like if you were a peacock, all the hens would probably be running after you. Now, so I'll take this let's account. play Jingle Bell Rock for the Christmas season you'll be pageant. Playing first viola, you'll be playing first cello this semester. I love these transitional oh, classrooms. Professor Steinberg, you didn't assign me a position today. I know that. Well, why not? Sure, punk. Are you by any chance planning to change the way you look in the near future? No. Then you can't be a member of this orchestra. Then you can't play shit. But, but you said I could play first violin this year. Not in this getup. <laughs> well, why not? Oh, it's an interesting look. But an orchestra is a team, and you're a distraction. Yes, but uh, years ago, man, they played in white wigs and white stockings. But today, we are playing in dark suits and short hair. And may I add, only the women wear makeup. Uh, you're not being fair. I'm not being fair because I'm old school. So old school, you know I'm fucking Santa Claus. I would seriously think that it would be funny as hell if he actually came to the orchestra wearing a white top. wig and pantaloons in the stockings. Oh. Don't look so glum, my friend. The choice is up to you. If you do you want to, come to back, conform or do you want to do what so you want in life? And a half a your choice is yours. Or else you can invite me to one of your gigs. I'm sure you're terrific. Well, you know, we're a lot more tolerant in our music scene. I mean, I, I could be up there playing with a tuxedo and regular hair. Nobody's going to tell me I didn't fit in. Is that a Mercedes-Benz oh, logo kidding. around his neck? You'd probably yeah, accessorize his army rock. boots and your tux would be two sizes too big. You're probably true. Terry, good luck. Whatever you decide to do. Live long and prosper. Santa, hey, exit stage left. Okay. Thank you. Now I need to burn it because I don't want your punk jeans on me. Identity crisis. Hey girl! He's getting some puss. Wait. He's not gonna let you play, is he? It's not fair. I mean, I, mean, I just you met you and I'm in love with you. Good girls love their bad boys. Well. Even though they look like they hang out at the Galleria. You know, I think he's the first person that's telling me I really can. But I can't expect to have it all. 
I'll make some choices. Come on, girlfriend, I just suddenly got in the span of two seconds. Hey, he's got a girl. Oh, he can always do that half man, half girl show they have at the circus. They could. I also don't know deal with the makeup. Just maybe the hair little things here and there. The makeup but... is coming off. But he kept the hair. There, yeah. there's a compromise. Can I come in? Yeah, stop playing that want? shit, bro. He doesn't even have a well, single poster up in his room. We had a talk this morning after you left. And, uh... <sighs> Terry, you're right. We haven't been paying much attention to you. But it wasn't we intentional and it's not gonna happen anymore. You're the fucking Jan Brady really? of the family. Yeah, really. And you know you have to help. He's got a fucking map of the what world do you mean? in this room. That's so well, you punk. always gave in you to what to we know where, uh, You never Ma took a stand Rand McNally is. You might right. But we do care. We're just not mind readers. We just so don't if you had care about you. Sooner, maybe you wouldn't have to go to such and drastic extremes. I'm a senator, extremes. I'm gonna care even less about you. <laughs> Carl, it wasn't such drastic extremes. I mean, all I did was I changed my hair and I changed my music, you know, my look. It's not like I really flipped out on everybody. That's debatable. Have you looked in the mirror lately? <sighs> all right, look, I'm sorry. That, uh, I'm we sorry, a bit of my dick assery kind of comes out bad. again, now and again. Terry, you're my brother. And I love you. Well, wash that Colored shit off. Colored hair and all. <laughs> Bro, hug it out. Hug it out. There you go, acceptance. Stay by day. Empty performance hall. Is this where he's gonna reflect on his lifestyle? Mm -hmm. Or he's gonna get up on stage and he's gonna write himself an angry song about everything. Which will be sounding like a ballad anyways. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nope, thinking about that classical music. Nothing is so punk rock than Beethoven and reflecting on your past. <laughs> when he had that prim and proper little haircut of his. That was some bad editing. What happened? Did the editor go on lunch? He couldn't finish off that last if round of applause? If he goes back to classical violin, he can, he can go to school. I think he wants to play the violin. I think that's what Come this on. is all about. Why is dressed like a fucking trucker? Well, not everything can be measured in dollars and cents. Or a roadie. Yeah, he could be a roadie. You're ignoring me again. You're all interested in what I should be doing, but I think I was better off before when nobody paid attention to me. What do you mean by that? What's supposed to mean? I'm just kidding. I love that you all care, but it's my life. Can you and I've not make care too much? We're just trying to give you the benefit of our input. I know, I know that, Dad, and, and I do. I appreciate it. That's why I want your input. Turn but it sideways and shove it up your ass. And I know that I have to make my decisions not because I want to please you or, or because I want your attention, but because they're right for me. So for now, I'm going to be a homeless man. I'm going to stick to playing rock. Hooray. Oh. I hope that's okay yeah. with you. We're not enthusiastic you know, at all. Really, We're I supportive. I can in the orchestra anytime I want. And I figured it'll be a lot easier to pick up the violin later than to try to be a rock star at age 50. Well, I don't know if I can listen to that music for another 30 years, but... Dude, you're in you your happy. 40s! And what the fuck music okay. do you even listen to anyway? I love you, sweetheart, and I will try to get used to it. And I'll make it a little easier, too. I've decided to cut out the makeup. I don't need it. Good. Then maybe you'll realize that your natural hair color is more attractive, and a regular haircut would be Dad, much better. Dad, don't push your luck. That's right, Tom. At least it's a start. 
He'll slowly come form our way. Once we just again. gotta give it time. We'll be back right after this. Nope, that's it. What? Yeah, that was that it. That was some bullshit. What that is was that? fucking bullshit. This is this this. John Dabney, who fucking did Doctor Who the movie? Oh, what the fuck, man? God. Okay, well, this was an interesting. I would say lacking any educational merit. But thank you so much for joining us for our video commentary of my life as a punk rocker, or my son's a punk rocker. Or the day my kid went punk. Or my day my kid went stupid. Right. Either way, take care everyone.